Greetings, I'm Professor Hobo, and welcome to another Hobo Tech Review. Today's review is on the Changemore 48 quart 12 volt compressor fridge that is dual zone. It actually has two compartments that can be temperature controlled separately. Is it any good? Let's find out. Now this isn't just any dual zone refrigerator. This actually has a battery that you can get optionally and put inside and run it off of a battery. And it can be charged from solar. Now, Change More doesn't offer a solar panel, but you can use any solar panel that is 5.5 millimeter, anywhere from 100 to 200 watts, and it supports 12 to 15 volts. So that means you can actually use a 24 volt solar panel or two 100 watt solar panels in series as long as you don't exceed that 50 volts. And just like any other compressor fridge, it does have a high, medium, and low temperature setting that'll work as low as nine volts. So this will work off of any type of 12 volt battery. And of course it sports an eco and max mode. Max mode is for when you want to cool it down as fast as possible. Eco mode is when you want to save on battery. Now the change more does say that it can be tilted up to 45 degrees. So this is great for overlanding. This fridge also has an app, which is actually pretty good. We'll go ahead and review that here in a moment. Now inside the fridge, we have two separate compartments and each compartment has its own set of LED lights, which is pretty nice. And very unusual for a dual zone fridge, this actually has a drain plug in the refrigerator side. Now this door is removable and it does have its own cutting board. So you just take the cutting board out, lay it on the top, it's got a little slot on the top and it allows you to cut your vegetables or your meat or whatever you're doing. If you wanna know the size and weight, we'll put that here at the bottom of the screen. Change More does offer a two year manufacturer warranty on all the refrigerators. And the Change More sports a bottle opener on the side. So you can open your beer. The handles are somewhat robust. They don't have any kind of spring loading action, but they are thick. You can charge this with a solar panel with a 5521 port or charge the battery with AC power or 12 volt from your vehicle. So you can charge using the included 12 volt, 24 volt adapter or the included AC power brick. They both plug into there. And then on the left side, you have the 5521 solar port, which can take a solar panel from about 100 to 200 watts. Another feature of the change more is that it does come with these removable baskets in both sides. And this gives you an idea about how big that basket is. That's one gallon jug. So the left side is the temperature of the large compartment. The right side is the temperature of the small compartment. You can set them both to whatever you want. They can both be freezers. They can both be refrigerators. You can see this is set to Fahrenheit. You can change it to Celsius if you want. It does have Bluetooth. You have a five segment battery icon. It tells you the charge status of the battery, which I currently have installed. And it's set at 12.2 volts. So to set the temperature, you can either do plus or minus. If you want to switch to the other side, you hit the gear icon. This allows you to set the temperature of the freezer side, which can go as far as minus four degrees Fahrenheit. If you hold down the gear button, it allows you to change between high, medium, and low. It does not come with the battery. You have to buy the battery separately. There is a link in the description for the battery if you want to add it on. It just, you, all you have to do is peel this cover off, turn the battery on, stick it in, squeeze these two till it seats. You hear the beep, it comes on, and then it gives you four lights. So if you see four lights, it's fully charged. Right, Picard? Tell me how many lights you see. So for our first test of the change more, we're going to go ahead and fire it up from room temperature. I've had this door open for a couple of hours, had it turned off, allowed it to reach around 70 degrees Fahrenheit, which is room temperature in here. We're gonna see how much power it takes to get from zero to 32 degrees for the refrigerator and zero degrees for the freezer, because this is a dual zone. This has two temperature settings. So we'll set this one to zero, which is the freezer part, because it's smaller. And then the larger part will set the 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll see how long it takes for the compressor to kick off. That's usually how I do this. You'll see it's set to 70 degrees right now. That's set to 32 degrees and that side's set to zero degrees. I'm also going to switch it over to max mode, which it is right now. It says max right there. I am using a Jackery with its regulated 12 volt. It is currently putting out 13.3 volts. Okay, T-Bird, let's fire it up. Hey! And let's start the timer. There we go. Now we'll come back whenever the compressor kicks off 
And this says 32 on the left and zero on the right. All right, the compressor just shut off. Let's see how long it took and how much power it used. It took 47 minutes and it used 32 watt hours. So not bad at all. 47 minutes seems to be on par with any other refrigerator freezer that I tested in freezer mode. It usually takes about 45 minutes for most of these to get to freezing. So it took very little power to get it up to temperature. Now let's assume you're ready to go on your trip and let's fill it with stuff and let it run overnight and see what kind of power it takes. Okay, now it's in eco mode. Let's go ahead and fill it up with water. We got one, one gallon of water. Ah, 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 ah. Two gallons of water. Woo, ah, ah. Three gallons of water. Woo, ah, ah, ah. So it just fits three gallons of water. And what am I gonna put in the freezer side? It's not very big and I don't wanna put anything in there that's gonna explode. How about this? We'll put a Jackery in the freezer since this is still mass and it will fit in there just perfect. Look at that. I couldn't pick the better size to put in there. You can just, just see the handle. Okay, let's go ahead and close it up. We're gonna leave it set on 32 and zero, just like we originally did for the test. We're gonna let the stuff cool down overnight inside before we start our test. That way we're doing it fair. Everything's pre-chilled to the proper temperature. Now this has been running overnight with the three gallons of water on one side and the Jackery 240 on the other side. It does say right now 34 degrees on the side. I have it set to 32. Let's see what the actual temperature is inside. And the thermometer inside says 38 degrees. So not bad. Now it's time to do the 12 hour time test where we're gonna go ahead and run this for 12 hours at its current settings and see how much power it uses. And you know what that means. Are y'all ready? Here are the results, nine amp hours, 113 watt hours. Now this is for 12 hours, so you double those numbers for 24 hours. As you can see, the results of the test for the change more came out to 226 watt hours over a 24 hour period. That's really good for a dual zone fridge. That's single zone fridge territory. So what do I mean by that? Most of these single zone fridges that I've tested average around 250 watt hours for a 24 hour period. And that's in refrigerator mode. In freezer mode, they're usually closer to 300, 350 watt hours. So in order for this to score 226 watt hours when one side was set to zero and the other side was set to 32 degrees is actually quite impressive. So what do all these numbers mean in plain English? It means that the change more could actually run for 24 hours off a of Jackery 240. So this can run this for one full 24 hour day, assuming 70 degree ambient temperature and one side set to freezing, one side set to 32 degrees. Now, obviously if you run a higher temperature or you're in a colder place, It'll use less power. If you're gonna run in a lower temperature in a hotter place, it's gonna use more power. So what about the change more battery that you can buy for this fridge? Now this is 173 watt hours. So if you figure out the math, you get about 18 hours or so, 18 to 20 hours. Again, it's gonna depend on ambient temperature and what you have it set to. You can always get two of these batteries, swap them out, or you can just plug a solar panel into it. That's what it's designed for. You can plug this battery in, charge it at home, or charge it from AC grid power, plug it in, take it to your campsite, plug a solar power into the fridge, and anytime the sun's shining, it will power the fridge. And then this will take over when it's dark. So with a solar panel, say like a 60 to 100 watt solar panel and one of these batteries, you should have no problem running 24 hours or even possibly indefinitely if you use a bigger solar panel. Because if you can charge this fast enough, and run the fridge off of solar directly, you should be able to run your whole weekend. Shouldn't be much of a problem. So pretty cool setup. And this is a really good value. Wait till you hear the price of this refrigerator. So what about the noise? Does it make a lot of noise? No, not really. It's actually pretty quiet. 
change more claims, 45 decibels. Let's see what we really get. Now this is on eco mode, which is going to be the quieter of the two modes. 46 decibels, not too shabby. All right, here's the app in all of its glory. You can turn the fridge on and off. You can adjust the temperature left and right. This is the left side set to 32. Right side is set to minus four. See here it shows the status of the battery, which is currently 100% and what the voltage is, 12 volts. You can turn on and off eco mode. There you can lock and unlock the display. You can change from Fahrenheit to Celsius. You can unpair the Bluetooth. And this down here lets you change the voltage. So say you want to set it to high voltage to not discharge your car battery or set it back to low voltage if you're using the built-in battery. There's some extra settings. If you press the gear, it allows you to change the maximum temperature, language. You can rename it. You can reset it to factory. And then there's a bunch of other stuff that's really unimportant. So. That's all she wrote. If you're interested in the Change More fridge and or the battery that goes with it, there are links in the description below for both products. I was able to swing a pretty hefty discount code for you guys. So make sure you use that discount code that's in the description. Thanks for watching. If you learned something today, don't forget to give me that thumbs up below. And if you're not a subscriber already, and why wouldn't you be by now? You know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. So what do all these numbers mean in plain English? Well, it means simply that you could run the change <laughs> RV Golf Guy at Medic Audio Repair Andrew Vaughn, Roger Cardano Brian Lee, Bruce Johnson, Jason Sirocco